Hey YouTube, Alex Cordell here. Today I wanted to go over some of your questions and comments about the Gary's Mod server video I created. If you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to check that one out before this one, as this one is going to be explained things after you have already created a dedicated server. I've been getting some questions about more in-depth things about the server and figured I'd make a short video answering all your questions. First of all, I wanted to just note that you no longer need an auth key when adding workshop items to your server. Nothing will happen if you don't remove it, but if you ever make another server, you won't have to worry about re-adding it to your command line. One of the biggest questions I got was how to set up admins for your server or make yourself an admin. This is super simple. First, you're going to want to locate your users file inside your server. This is located under Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod DS, Gary's Mod, Settings, if you have it to the default location. Go ahead and open up that users file and it should look something like this. To add an admin or super admin, you would just want to follow the example that is shown. I'd also go ahead and remove Gary from there. So where it says Gary, just put your Steam account name, not to be confused with your Steam profile name that you can change to whatever you want. After you've done that, you will replace the Steam underscore zero text to your Steam ID. To find your Steam ID, go to this website. I will leave a link in the description below, and then type in your Steam account name once you've come to this website. Right here, you'll see your Steam ID, and you'll want to copy and paste that into the users file where the example one is. If you want more than just yourself being an admin, you just repeat these steps for every user that you'd like to add. Just make a new line per user. Another question I got was how to make servers auto-download add-ons instead of having to have people subscribe to your workshop collection. This one is a little more time consuming, but so far it's the only way I have found. What you'll want to do is head over to your Gary's Mod server folder again and open the Lua folder. Inside there, you want to open the auto run folder and then open the server folder. If the server folder isn't there, just go ahead and create one. Inside the server folder, create a new text document and name it Workshop. Also note, it's important to have file extensions shown. Inside the text document, you'll want to add this line, resource.addworkshop. Now this will be very time consuming because you'll want to add this line for each add-on you have. So for someone like me with over 300 add-ons in my sandbox server, it's going to be very time consuming. But so far, it's the only way I have found to work. Now, you're going to want to change the ID number to the add-on's ID number. To find an add-on's ID number, just go to the workshop page and right here you'll see the ID number. Just put this number where it says ID number. After you have all the add-ons added, save and close the file and rename it. You're going to want to rename it to workshop.lua. So where it says .txt, replace that with the .lua and press enter. If you ever need to add or remove more add-ons, just right click and click open with or double click and open with notepad or any text document. Another question I got was how to change maps in your server. So with the shortcut that we made in the first video, to change maps, you can simply double click map, select the map you want from the drop down menu and click OK and it'll change the map without having to close the server. Something else I wanted to show off today was how to start your server with a bat file. This will just show more in depth of what your server is doing and a little easier than having the shortcut in my opinion. To do this, you would just create a new text document in the same folder you have srcds.exe located and name it start.bat. Right click, edit, and enter the following. I'll leave this text in the description below. This is just the default bat file. You will have to edit a little of it to fit what you want in your server. Right here is where you would add the host workshop collection ID for your add-ons and with the collection ID. Here's where you would choose what map you want the server to start with, the game mode you want, and the max players. When you have everything set up, go ahead and save and exit and double click to start your server. As you can see, it shows a lot more in depth of what's going on and what your server is doing. When it is done loading, you'll see this message right here. And if you scroll to the top, you will see your server FPS, the map the server is on, and how many players are on the server. To change maps with the bat file, you would just type in change level and type in the map name. For example, GM construct, and then press enter. Your server will then refresh and load the new map without turning the server off.
Another thing I would recommend, as you can see here that I have, is three Gmod servers. I want a new server for each game mode that I have, just to keep things organized. Those 300 something add-ons I have for my sandbox server would make no sense to have in my death run server, so I just create a new server for each game mode. This is super simple to do, just copy and paste the Steam CMD file into a new folder and create the server like I showed in the first video. However, I would also recommend to create new workshop collections for each server as well, so that you can have different add-ons per server. Keep in mind, this will be a fresh server, so you will have to also edit the admin and server config files again. I'm also going to be releasing a video alongside this one, showing how to create a death run server from scratch. I also plan on showing how to create other game types as well, as each one is a little different to set up. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. Also, let me know what kind of thing you would like to see next, whether it's me creating a prop hunt server, for example, or maybe a whole other game, for example, Conan Exiles, or maybe a World of Warcraft private server or something. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, as it really helps me out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.